Well, more, yeah, I, I don't know if I could have uh, scripted it much better than the way it turned out, but uh, I was able to do what I wanted to do. Not a lot of people can say they had a career doing what they went to school to do and doing something I loved and dreamed of doing. And for 30, almost now 36 years, I, uh, I've lived the dream. And so have you, Ron. It has been a distinct pleasure and an honor to work with you and all those that we've had the pleasure of working with here at KVOE. Uh, they've all had a hand in the success that I've had, that the station has had, and it has been a joy uh, to work here at Emporia and accomplish what has been accomplished. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe get a chance to visit them a little more often, if, depending on where I end up, where I end up. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, I've been able to go to a lot of places, visit a lot of uh, things talked with a lot of people, got to know a lot of people, um, made a lot of friends along the way, and to each and every one of them who I've come in contact with, whether here or work, uh, out in the community, I say thank you to all of you for allowing me to be a part of your lives. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, I probably need to say most important thank you to my wife, Bernie, for allowing me to do what I've done the last 36 years. Yes. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> and we go to the open, where over the history, there have been seven wire-to-wire -wire winners of the open. That's leading after 72 holes with no ties during that time. Can you name the last golfer to win wire to wire? It happened at the 143rd Open and it happened at Royal Liverpool where it's being played this year. Melody and Joy Tiger shut out the Kansas City Royals 3-0 yesterday afternoon. The Royals were shut out on four hits. Detroit scored twice in the second inning, once in the fifth inning. Zach Greinke, not a bad outing. He goes four innings, gave up only two runs on four hits. He had a strikeout during that time as he returned from the injured list. 
The Royals will begin a three-game series in New York against the Yankees tonight. Alec Marsh will be on the mound for the Royals. First pitch is set for 6.05. You can hear the game tonight on KVOE 1400 AM 96.9 FM. Forty State women's basketball coach Brian Osterman has announced his first recruiting class. Eight newcomers, all transfers, will join the seven returners. Osterman says the eight newcomers will fit right in with what the Lady Hornets have returning. Two newcomers are D1 transfers. Queen Ulibo, a 5'10 forward, transfers from Texas San Antonio. Flora Veranate is a 6'2 center from St. Bonaventure. Another newcomer is a D2 transfer, a little familiar to the MIAA and Emporia State, Aliyah Bello, who transfers from Lincoln. Two newcomers are junior college transfers. One, Gracie Gilpin returns to Emporia after playing one year at Cali after Playing at Emporia High, Osterman says Gilpin's time in both Emporia High and Cali piqued their interest to get her to Emporia State. Rick Hyman, a 5'9 guard, transfers from Obunsey Community College in Illinois. Three newcomers transfer to Emporia State from NAIA schools. Daniel Howard transfers from Peru State. Ty Lee Wallace, a 6'2 center, transfers from Kansas Wesleyan. And the final recruit is Osterman's daughter, Allie. She spent the last three years at Tabor. Lady Hornets will report to campus this weekend as they prepare for their trip to Italy, which is scheduled for next month. At the 113th Kansas Amateur Match Play Championship Golf Tournament, Emporian Gentry Shibi has moved on in match play. He won his first round match, defeating Ryan Bender of Manhattan. He'll play Austin Goodrum of Andover in the round of 32 today. Emporia High Boys Wrestling Program has another wrestler that will be competing at the collegiate level. Lucas Hayline will be continuing his wrestling career at Friends University in Wichita. Emporia High Coach Brooke Madrano says he's excited for Hayline. Hayline was a three-time state qualifier, finished fourth at the 5A state tournament this past year at 138 pounds. Hayline is the second Spartan from last year's team to sign to continue his wrestling career as Eric Tung, your uncle, signed with Central Missouri. Big 12 Conference announcing uh, the conference opponents for each team for the 2024 season yesterday. Teams will play 18 conference games, playing five teams twice, the other eight conference teams once. Kansas will play home and home games against Baylor, Houston, Kansas State, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State. KU will host BYU, Cincinnati, TCU, and Texas. They'll play at Central Florida, Iowa State, Texas Tech, and West Virginia. Kansas State will have home and home games against BYU, Iowa State, Kansas, Oklahoma State, and West Virginia. They'll host Baylor, Central Florida, Oklahoma, and TCU, and they'll play at Cincinnati, Houston, Texas, and Texas Tech. At the TBT Wichita Regional last night, Purple and Black won their first game, outscoring the guys 72-59. They'll next play Team Arkansas tonight at 6 o'clock. The Aftershocks defeated B1 Ballers 66-51. They'll next play the Beale Street Boys tonight at 8 o'clock. Mass Street will next play Show Me Squad tomorrow at 3. Again, all games being played at Wichita State's Coke Arena. Day 2 of the Open is underway, and in the clubhouse with the lead, 
is Brian Harmon of the United States. He shot a minus six today. He's 10 under for the tournament in the clubhouse. And Team USA will play their first women's World Cup soccer match tonight. They'll face Vietnam. That game will kick off around 8 o'clock in Portia time. And that's a look at this morning's sports run. Do we have a winner with our trivia question? And his answer was Roy McElroy, who in 2014 won the Open at Royal Liverpool. He finished 17 under par. He's on the course right now. He's through 14. He's at one under par. Tied for 17th place right now. Still in the hunt, yeah. It has been a pleasure. And thank you. That's it for now. For the final time, Greg Ray, KDOE Sports.